uh, is my thing. Um, played with, you know, um, all over the world. Yeah, I've played all over the place. Not not all over the world, but definitely all over the country. Uh -huh. um, had had the chance to um, really get to meet people, as in the artists that we look up to, uh -huh. um, and I treated them like people, and that's what they loved about me. Yeah. And uh -huh. So like. Because they are human, right? Yeah. Well, Most that was one of the coolest things about Chris Novoselic was that. This is a guy that people don't even realize formed Nirvana, uh -huh. which was the most influential bands of our time. Uh -huh. And he was the one that formed it, and yet he's the less known. The, the least out of known. All. Yeah. But he's actually. He's the bass player. For the yeah. Well, actually, he was the guitarist first. Yeah. And he told me this story. It was funny. They, they had uh, him and Kurt both bought a guitars at the first practice. Uh -huh. And he was like, well, this isn't going to work. So he ended up going out and buying a bass guitar, and that was the first time that he ever played bass. And um, <laughs> they went through five drummers that. before they found um, uh, Dave, before Grohl. Dave Grohl. Mm -hmm. Do you know they um, played at uh, J.C. Dobbs? Yeah. No, they played everywhere, man. Uh, J.C. Like Dobbs, J.C., this is the thing. Jim, Jim Thorpe, the guy that runs J.C. Dobbs, used to be my old manager. I was a band called Catching Flies out of Philadelphia, and we were pretty big. We had a couple of hit singles. That's how I got to know uh, G because he had the number one song in, out of Philly. We had the number one album out of Philly at that point in time. Oh, yeah. Um, it's like in the 90s. Yeah, yeah. It was called Catching Flies, and it, yeah. we were good. Um, it was like a, uh, you know, if, if you look.